there Steve has four candles to blow out instead of three like last year. And, um, and that old building behind us? Yeah, that old, that, that old building back there was torn down. We were living here, and we had a swing out in the yard. Uh, you know, that tree right out here? Yeah, it was on the big tree over there. And I think you got a little lawnmower, push type lawnmower that would work and that's the only kind of lawnmower you ever thought would be fun. I took you to Sportsman's Lake that day and uh, so there you are playing with the other children. You all really loved Sportsman's Lake. And Snow, snow down. Um, it looks like Stuart and uh, I wonder if it's David Hart. Yeah, David Hart and his and his brother and sister. Well, you're playing with uh, a little gecko, I believe. A cat. A cat. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're helping him. Helping feed the kitty cat there. That's, I'd put a, I'd put the uh, bathtub there and fill it up with water and y'all just would have hours of fun going down that little sliding board and uh, sliding into the water. It uh, looks like a train going over a bridge. The Belle of Louisville, maybe. Oh, yeah. That's the Belle of Louisville. We took you on your... We would take you and Bob on at least once a summer on the Belle. And this was... Uh, down at the creek. Yeah. Oh, this is the Bass children. Yeah. yeah, it's down at Do Run Inn. This is, remember Julie Bass mm -hmm. and uh, Jan and Steve Bass. And uh, I think. Uh, Steve, uh, Tommy was in Mommy's uh, tummy about that time. I'm standing up there with Jan Bass. But you all were playing in the creek behind Do Run Inn. And there they are coming down the sliding board. That little girl is a pretty good lawyer now, I think. Has her law degree and all. But uh, they would have the best time coming down playing with you. 
in that big tub. <laughs> That was Bobby standing along, getting ready to get on the bus, and uh, he loved to go down, and the only time he could do that is when we were with him, but I think it's illegal to even be on the train tracks anymore. There's the bus. Uh-oh. But I asked him if I could take his picture, and he said, if you'll stand over there in the cornfield so nobody'd see you. <laughs> it was a big deal having the bus kind of stop. Oh, this is Christmas, and that's Dante. And these are the cousins. That's, I think that's Jay. Khaki's little boy. And uh, so this was Christmas 1966 up at Grandma's house. Y'all were playing with blocks. But that time you'd gotten busy and you didn't like people bothering your uh, blocks too much. And there's Granddaddy having big time watching you boys play. This was at our house. And this is Santa Claus the next morning. Oh, that's when uh, I gave each of you a cap like Papa's. And uh, I can't remember everything we used to give you guys for Christmas. When you turned around and smiled then, Steve, I think there's a missing tooth. I was trying to get your cap on you. Like Papa's. We didn't have real expensive gifts, but y'all liked the gifts that we had. And there's baby Tom. And Steve was always so good to baby Tom. There he is in the little crib. And Daddy O and Mama O would bring that crib, brought the crib up and set it up for Tommy. I hope he still got it. I don't know where his crib is, but there's baby Tom. Mm, that's good. <laughs> that was her Christmas tree that year. My goodness, that's a crane. Y'all could pick stuff up.
poor, poor dad. He worked hard that year. <laughs> Even baby Tom like that. Remember our fancy TV we had mm -hmm. for the Christmas tree? Black and white. We didn't watch that much television anyway. I believe you're going to get that pickup truck up. Pull it up. If somebody got a pinball machine and you got a xylophone or something. And this is what you enjoyed for years, Steve. It you could uh, draw on either side of the board. And so you were always the artist of the family. And that was your little Christmas tree upstairs in your bedroom. You and Bob slept shared a bedroom together. 